Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Office 365 versus G Suite. We are going to talk about five different features that each of them have, and we're going to score them based off of those features. Then finally at the end, since at the end of the day, you do have to make a decision about one of them to choose, I'm going to tell you which one's better because based off the scoring, it's an obvious choice. Um, but before we do dive in, I do want to remind you guys that if you do find this conversation intriguing or you like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, and if you do want to engage with me further, you can go ahead and comment down below uh, and I'll try to respond to you. But also I do stream on Twitch every Thursday and Sunday night. So go ahead and join me there. And as I'm making this video, guys, I am one person away from my follower goal. So you could be the one. You could be the one that pushes me to my goal. But hey, let's go ahead and dive in to this battle between Office 365 and G Suite, and we'll learn more. So let's go ahead and jump on over. Before we jump in, I do want to let you guys know I am a reseller of both Office 365 and G Suite. So if you're paying MSRP, you should stop doing that. Uh, you can reach out to us at nextsetconsultants.com. Uh, go ahead and contact us and I'll have my email in the link below. So go ahead and reach out to us and we can help you get set up to get a discount on both either of the options that you end up deciding on. All right, guys. So first things first, let's talk about email. Um, let's get this out of the way because really, if you're just focused on email, Office 365 and G Suite are both really good options. So pick the one that you like more. Um, but what I would say is pick one because what's really frustrating, one of my biggest pet peeves, and you know who you are. If you do this, you know who you are. You respond to people as a business email as at gmail.com or at yahoo.com. If you're doing that, stop right away. Pick an email service. It's not that expensive. Get a branded domain name so your name gets out there better. You're not fighting security risks. You're not fighting as much spam. You're getting things out to your customers and they can trust you uh, because you have a domain branded email address and it's less likely to be hacked. The other issue is if one of the use cases I had was a lawyer who was emailing me with an at gmail.com address and I don't even understand that. There's tons of risks like you're going to get hacked, your um, email is not secure, people's personal data, it's being mined by whatever email provider it is, and they're collecting data. That's why email accounts are free is because they're collecting data on them. So pick, I'll get off my soapbox, but pick an email address. Um, we're going to go ahead for the sake of this battle, though, give a point to Office 365 and a point to G Suite. And let's go ahead and move on to the next topic. So the next topic is storage. It's either OneDrive or Google Drive. Um, there's not really a competition like this category is ridiculous. OneDrive, great for personal. If you're really only sharing stuff yourself, it's not easy to use. You can't share files easily. Um, it's not for a team. Uh, we'll get into that later about how to share files in a team with Office 365. But if you're using OneDrive, great for personal. If you know how to use it for a team and it's working really well for you, drop a comment below. Please let me know because I'm still trying to figure that out. It's awful. Um, Google Drive, phenomenal. People understand it. It's easy to share. It's easy to put files in. Google Drive file stream is just like Dropbox downloads. Um, and it downloads to your computer. It doesn't take up space. So for this one, we're actually going to minus one to Office 365 and we're going to add one to Google because really Microsoft, it's not that hard. There are companies that do it purchase them, do something, but don't use OneDrive because, or expand your OneDrive to make it to where you can actually share files and work as a team in the files that you're already storing. So let's move on to the next topic. Google Drive is obviously the correct choice if you're just focused on storage. All right, so the next stop is productivity apps. Have you ever heard of Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint? I mean, these are really common apps that are used in the workplace and they're part of Microsoft. You can't really get around that. So you're either gonna be buying them with the email subscription you get, or you're gonna be buying them separately because people send you stuff and you have to be able to read them, use them. Excel uh, is really the powerhouse there. Uh, people are making great leaps to get, to become more like Excel, but it's just not there yet. Um, so they are included with the online version uh, with Office 365, uh, either Small Business Premium or E1 or any of those licenses. The online version is included. 
If you were to move up to the small business premium or the if you're using enterprise to E3, then the plan does include the downloadable versions of Office. This is a huge help if you're concerned about licensing compliance, which if you aren't, you should be because you don't want to get caught with that. Um, so what's really cool is they're allowing you to get those apps and not even be concerned about whether people are licensed. And when you get them, you also, it's a great benefit for your employees because they can download it on up to five computers. And it's really helpful for them because they can download their home computer, uh, their work computer, their work laptop, and it allows them to f work more seamlessly everywhere they are. Um, G Suite, they've come a really long way in this. Um, they were the first ones to really allow collaborative working, which Microsoft has added on, but it's still not quite like G Suite's collaborative working. If you're um, somebody who's really going to be working a lot in the same documents, G Suite is by far the best in this scenario. Um, but they still, they, they're all online based. There's no downloadable versions for uh, Word, Excel, their versions of that, Docs, uh, Sheets. And so they're just not quite up to par with what Office does for the productivity apps. So for familiarity and the price of Office included in the small business premium, I'm going to go ahead and give Office 365 a point on this one. So let's move on to our next topic. So the next topic is your chat client. Um, if you didn't know, G Suite does have a chat client. They, you know, it's, uh, it's great for chat. That's about it. Uh, they try to break out into Hangouts chat, uh, which allows you to do more team uh, chatting, collaborative chats, but it's still in beta. It's been about two years, three years maybe uh, that I've heard about it. And there's they keep pushing their beta date out. So that's it for G Suite chat. Um, Office 365 though, they've come a long way with this with Microsoft Teams. I really like Microsoft Teams. Uh, a little bit biased on this one um, because they've done a huge leap. They've included Skype, Slack, file sharing in your calendar and put it all into one thing together. So you can actually basically Zoom calls, everything. It's in Microsoft Teams. You can schedule uh, meetings with people virtually. You can share files um, in a collaborative workspace. It's actually really great. Uh, if you're not using it, you should start using it. Um, it's a really good way to communicate with your team and a more chat based client rather than through email. And it does keep history really well. You can have co topic conversations. So if you're going to talk about um, your sales department needs a certain spot to talk, that's where they would go and they'd be able to chat in there. Uh, and it would all be recorded. The history is saved. Um, so yeah. Definitely going to give Office 365 a point for this because it's far superior chat client. So let's move on to the next topic. All right. So the next part we're going to talk about is admin features. Uh, both Office 365 and G Suite have really robust admin features. So this is kind of a hard one, but there's some very niche things that drive me crazy about each of them. So um, at this point though, if you have found any of this content helpful, go ahead and hit that like button below. Um, I'd appreciate it if you haven't, or if you disagree with what I'm saying, tell me in the comments, I wanna know. Let's chat about it. Uh, or catch me on Twitch and uh, tell me in chat and we can go through it. Um, so basically, uh, just a word to let you know, if you're not familiar with any of these admin features, Try not to play with them too much until you become a little bit more familiar so you don't break your email system. So as we move on, um, just be careful with what you change and the admin features so you can keep your email working. So the first one we're going to talk about is reporting. Uh, so this one, we're going to do definitely plus one for Google because they're all about reporting. They have Google Analytics. They have these other things, I know Microsoft has Microsoft BI, um, business intelligence, I think that's what it means. And so Google has built their email to have these great reporting tools. Uh, my favorite one is email log search, which allows you to search the headers of emails, not the full email, because, you know, privacy, don't want to read all of those anyway. So the headers of the email, what that does is it tells you where the email came from, who sent it, what IPs, to let you trace if there's a lot of spam or stuff happening in your email that you want to know about. So I found this feature super helpful. Um, so yeah, like I said, for this category, plus one for uh, Google. The next 
uh, one is kind of more user-based. The next two will be. Uh, one of them is out of office reply. I can't stand this in Google. If you want to put on an out of office reply, you either have to ask your end user to do it, or you have to log into their account and set up their out of office. I, if people forget it and there's getting people, you're getting calls, it's super frustrating to figure that out, to reset their email, have them come back to something that wasn't working or while they're on vacation, they can't check their email because you had to reset their password to get in. So this is definitely gonna be a plus one for a Microsoft because, well, they let it happen right on the user panel. You can set their out of office reply there um, and get that going. The next one, which is also really handy, is delegate accounts. G Suite doesn't have it. They just don't have a spot. You can delegate accounts built into their admin console. Um, yes, you can get APIs, you can write scripting, you can do all of that stuff to have it happen, but right out of the box, you can't. Um, and Microsoft has that. You can go on to the same spot you set out of office replies and you can put on a delegate account. So plus one to office for that. Um, and you can also see where this is going because the next one is you can get a free admin license. So in Office 365 and not in G Suite. G Suite, I even contacted support and was like, hey, I'm trying to help this client. They don't want to pay for another license. I don't want their password to their email. How can I get into their admin account, make some changes without that? Basically, there's no way. Um, and yeah, so that's just a bummer. You can't let somebody get into your account, have admin access with the proper permissions. Don't get me wrong. You always should set up proper permissions. Uh, and it was really frustrating. But in Outlook, Office 365, you can just assign a user with the proper admin permissions and assign them no license. So there's a free admin account for like a consultant like me to help you with your email setup or help you with any of these things that we've talked about. So that's also a plus one for Office. Um, as you can see where these scores are going a little bit, let's talk about the decision. Which one's better for you? Um, the truth comes out a little bit. I am kind of biased towards Office 365. It is the one I like more. Um, I didn't think it would be that way until I started using it more recently. Uh, a few years back, I actually liked G Suite way more. Um, but Office has done a lot of improvements with their Microsoft Teams, with other things. The only thing that drives me crazy about Office is that if you really want a good file sharing system, you have to buy Dropbox. But on the flip side, if you want something great with like Microsoft Outlook, uh, Microsoft Excel, all of those things, you have to buy an Office license to get those if you have G Suite. So really the costing ends up being the same if you're gonna be in the proper license for all of your employees or clients or whatever you're, you're servicing. Um, so I've just found that Office 365 is a little bit more robust in the admin side, uh, their chat, so collaborative teamwork, especially right now when everybody's at home and you need that quick chatting, you need those video conferencing. I found Microsoft Teams to be much more useful um, than Google Hangouts or any of those other features. So it really comes down to a little bit of personal preference. Like I didn't use that as a cop out though, to not choose one. I do choose Office 365. Uh, but if you do choose G Suite, let me know in the comments. Let me know why. Let me hear your choice. What do you use at your business? Um, we actually use both because we have clients in both and I don't want them to have to struggle and figure out how to share files and all that stuff. So we have one Office 365, G Suite, and Dropbox. Um, so yeah, let me know. Um, but again, thank you for joining me on this showdown. Uh, if you did like this video and would like to see more tips for your business, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What we talk about here is technology for your business. And we also sometimes have quick tips where we troubleshoot something that's going wrong. Um, and if you'd like to see any more of those or have any ideas for future videos, let me know in the comments below. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys around. Thank you so much for joining.